What is anthropology? What is anthropology? In order to understand archaeology, we have to know what the parent corporation is, which is anthropology. Anthropology is the study of people. Hmm? Four words. The study of people. I can make it harder. We could be like the study of people and cultures over time and space with certain focus on their rituals. Let's not. Let's go with the study of people. Four things. And that's its joy. Anthropology is great because it is broad, what we call holistic, right? So this ultimately broad way of studying the human being, the human experience, any other major, whichever major you got, it ain't as broad as anthropology. We study humans more than anyone else. Basically, anthropology is the study of anything human beings ever did, ever. So... It's great joy. Oh, so, do you think you have an angle on us? You don't. Beyond being broad, we also operate on a core concept, kind of the gold standard in anthropology, which is cultural relativism. Write that one down. Cultural relativism. It sounds hard. It sounds complicated. It's really not. Honestly, there are a ton of different ways to uh, define this, define cultural relativism, but really it's the idea that all cultures are equal. That's really it. We can say uh, looking at uh, all cultures through a dispassionate lens. We can say uh, don't place value judgments on other cultures, but let's just go with all cultures are equal. That is the cornerstone of anthropology. So when we get to archaeology, we got to remember that we follow this one as well. Right? Now, when I say cultural relativism, and it's the cornerstone of anthropology, I think all of you guys basically nod your head, and it sounds pretty good to you. And you're like, yeah, Kinkella, I do that. Do you? Because, let's think a little more on this. To really uh, use cultural relativism in your daily life, what that means is that the culture of the United States is not the best culture there ever was. What? Ah, <gasps> but it ain't the worst either. It just is. It's just a way that our society has decided to get along throughout the weeks and months that we live together, right? It's no better or worse than a group of people in the middle of the Amazon living the way that they live. It's just a different way of doing things. In fact, if you put together the idea of cultural relativism with this holistic and broad approach, when you put those two together, you really get the anthropological perspective, right? The idea that we use this in our daily lives, that we look upon the world using anthropology. And I wish more people had the anthropological perspective because it would be a nicer world. So, with that, that is anthropology. Really, the study of people with the idea of cultural relativism, that all cultures are created equal.